Let's create a new token which requires a name and a symbol. Next we'll specify whether the token is whole or fractional. A fractional token has decimals whereas a whole token doesn't. Then we'll specify whether the token is variable uh, or fixed. Being variable means we can mint and burn tokens and we'll start with a supply of zero. Here we can specify whether the token's name, symbol and a few other properties can be updated by signing a transaction with an admin key. Now we have some compliance features. These are optional and if enabled specify a key, a key list or threshold key which can sign compliance transactions. So here we specify if we can grant or revoke KYC for an account in relation to the token. We're now specifying if an account's balance can be partially wiped. And the last, com the last compliance feature is whether an account can be frozen. If yes, it's possible to specify whether all accounts are frozen by default or not for this particular token. <coughs> <coughs> We're now going to create the token which sends a transaction to Hedera. All the compliance keys can be different, enabling delegation of compliance features to third parties. Now the token's been created, it's been allocated a unique token ID, which cannot change. We can now mint some tokens so that we can later transfer to uh, Alice or Bob. And Alice and Bob need to associate with this new token in order to uh, send or receive the, the token. This is to ensure that uh, they are safe from airdrops, for example, which could net them a tax liability. We can now grant KYC to both Bob and Alice as the issuer. And finally, transfer some tokens to uh, Alice. We'll transfer 50. And we'll now demonstrate a um, a token transfer between uh, between users. We can in fact do um, a more complex um, transfer here where Bob will send uh, 20 of the first token to Alice. Alice will send 30 of the other uh, token to Bob and there will also be a 10 h, 10 h bar uh, payment from Alice to Bob. Notice as the transfer completes that the token balances and the hbar balance uh, will have updated as a result of the transaction. We'll now go ahead and wipe some uh, tokens from Alice's account and then finally burn some tokens from the supply noticing that the uh, supply is reduced accordingly. <coughs>